Uh, okay, let me start. Okay. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, a warm welcome to this uh, web seminar session. Uh, this session uh, is organized by Bajaya University College. Uh, uh, I'm Go, and uh, currently I'm access to Faculty of Business as a senior lecturer. Okay. Uh, the title uh, for today's session is Transform Yourself to be a Business Specialist, and then uh, we have a Business Management degree at Bajaya UC. Okay, if you uh, look at this slide, uh, business program. So these are all the business program that offer uh, in uh, Bajaya University College by our uh, Faculty of Business. The one that we are going to concentrate on today is a degree program. This uh, program is called Bachelor of Business Management. Okay, so this uh, degree course is offered in Faculty of Business, and uh, the common name. Because uh, some of the some of the other universities offer the same uh, program, but some are known as business administrations. Now, why do we do business management? Then there must be some reason why we should select this course instead of accounting, marketing, uh, finance, and others that are uh, commonly uh, available in a business school. Okay, now from major corporations to small businesses. Now, every operation needs skill business administrator in order to succeed. That means that we need specialized uh, business manager to run the company. Now, in business today, uh, the day-to-day -day operations are as important as long-term plans for the future. So if we are looking to be a solid foundation for a career and business administrator, then this is the right degree for you. Okay. Now, this degree program uh, provides uh, much needed exposure to the basic principles and practices of a business. Uh, it is designed, uh, this degree is a three years degree. It is designed to provide an in-depth knowledge of a wide range of aspects related to business operations. So at every year, uh, your students are exposed to uh, fundamental business. Then you are exposed to uh, planning. And then at the end of the year three, you are exposed to a uh, strategy uh, Making. Okay. Now, typically, this program core curriculum covers topics such as accounting, uh, marketing, finance, human resource, strategy planning, and uh, many more business related topics. So, it enables uh, students to have a broad overview of what is happening in a company. Now, other than these uh, academic courses, students are also able to acquire transferable skills. Some of these transferable skills are soft skills that uh, you can uh, assist in your future career. So these uh, skills include problem solving, critical thinking, conflict resolutions, report writing, leadership skills, and resource management uh, among uh, others. And acquiring practical knowledge of one or more areas of specialty. Okay. So later, I will introduce some of the specialization a student can choose from if you join Bajaya University College for this degree. Uh, because uh, certain universities, they don't offer specializations. They offer a general uh, business management or business administration degree. Uh, students will gain exposure to case studies, presentation, and interact with experts in the field as well. Now, so once you completed this uh, three years degree, so what can you do then? Yes. Uh, so that means that we a bachelor degrees in business and uh, management. Uh, you will be qualified for an array of leadership positions and other advanced roles in company. Okay. Uh, you will have the options to work across industries as a business analyst, human resources generalist, operation manager, or marketing specialist. Okay. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, in uh, Bajaya UC. Uh, we call ourselves Bajaya UC. Uh, we have specialization for students to choose from. So that at the end of the three years, students can specialize or become a specialist in certain business functions or business area. Uh, if you like, if you don't like to work for others, I mean, you, you want to come out and then uh, embark on your own career as an entrepreneur, can, okay? Because uh, some business administration, uh, 
business administration graduates also venture into entrepreneurship, so creating their own successful business from the ground up. Now, as a business administrator, uh, you can reach top positions, okay? Let's say five years after your graduation. I mean, if we are looking at eight years from now, okay, you're, you can become a CEO, CFO, or general manager of a company, okay? So that is our target, uh, to place our students five years from the date they graduate to become uh, leaders in a company. So for any questions, guys and girls, Okay, why, why you should choose us? Okay. Uh, one characteristic of the Jelly University College is we emphasize on immersion methodology. Okay. So this uh, methodology allows students to fully immerse in specific subject matters for a certain period of time, uh, both in and outside the classroom. Okay. Uh, earlier, I mentioned about specialization for students to choose from. So these are the eight specializations students can choose from. That means, you are going to search, uh, you are going to uh, encounter specialization subjects when you enter into our year two and year three in the program. Okay. So we have uh, retail management, marketing, human resource management, finance, international business, uh, event management, tourism management, uh, logistics and supply chain management. So the next three slides, uh, six, uh, uh, seven, and on the last slide, okay. These are about the immersion uh, methodology, okay. And where we emphasize students' development in class and also out of class uh, with academic and non-academic uh, activities. So other than that, we are also inviting professionals to share their knowledge. But in the norm, uh, for most of the courses in our degree program, uh, you are going to meet some industry leaders coming into your class okay, uh, to share their industry experience. Uh, other than that, uh, students in this uh, program need to be placed in the industry for uh, during their year three for a period of uh, 16 weeks. That means uh, a semester, that means a second last semester before you uh, graduate, you are going to go out and work in the industry for 16 weeks, that means for the whole semester, uh, four months. So uh, Bajaya University College is part of Bajaya Group of Companies. So I believe uh, you heard of Bajaya Group of Companies that include uh, Starbucks, uh, Times Square, uh, Bajaya Resort Hostel, U Mobile. Okay, we we have uh, I think more than uh, thirty or forty uh, businesses under this group of company. So our students have been successful in placed in Bajaya related companies uh, such as Bajaya Hotels and Resorts, Starbucks, uh, to mean a few during their internships. Okay. Uh, we are also a campus, uh, sorry, we are also a city campus uh, university where we are located in the middle of uh, Kuala Lumpur or most uh, famously known as uh, Golden Triangle uh, near uh, Phuket Pintang. Uh, Bajaya University, uh, these are some of the companies uh, that students have been uh, placed to uh, for business students. Okay, uh, industrial uh, affiliations. Okay, Bajaya University College is also a member for many uh, trade associations. Now, uh, this type of uh, relationship or affiliation allows our students to enjoy special privilege, uh, such as attending events organized by this uh, associations, the events can be talks, seminar, uh, trade events, and conferences. Now, some of these uh, associations, they are quite keen uh, with students' uh, involvement. So they also invite our students to become subcommittee uh, for these events. Apart from trade associations, we also have some connections uh, with professionals. Getting a degree from the Jaya University uh, College uh, it's not only recognized by Malaysian government. Uh, for this program, uh, Bachelor of Business Management Honours, we have a full accreditation status by our MQA. Uh, not only that, our students also highly sought after by the industry. And some, this degree also are uh, recognized by some professional associations around the world. So my last uh, slide will be student activities. Uh, student in the news. Now, 
uh, Brazilian University College is proud of uh, our its students' achievement, and uh, some of these achievements uh, we would like to share it in the news so that it can uh, and it can enlighten some others, uh, potential students like you all, uh, to know about us and our activities, uh, what we have done. Uh, so thank you. So I'll, I'll, I'll stop sharing, and uh, we have a lively discussion uh, after this. Uh, Mr. Okay. Do, yes. Uh, could you explain a little bit more about uh, the why is it so important on the specialization? You know, and how how this specialization can actually uh, give these uh, graduates an edge uh, when they come out and work later, rather than a, than a, just a, a normal general. general general business degree. Yes. Now, uh, it depends on the student interest and also uh, the needs of the industri industry like, at that point of time. That means that if, if you are planning, let's say a student planning to uh, work in future in his home country, and his home country, most of the industry are retail related. Okay. So it would be good if a student plan ahead and do a retail specialization so that when he went back to his country, then he is advantaged in, uh, in his career because he is he knows the environment that he is going to work into in the future. So that is one, this is uh, one of the advantages uh, if we have specializations. Okay, uh, how about, uh, let's say you name one uh, or two of our specializations and how, how is it like um, so special compared to other business degree from other university? Okay, one of the specializations that I want to highlight uh, is this uh, logistic and supply chain management. Okay, now this is the afterthought degree or specializations in the future uh, because of globalization. And we know that with this uh, China's initiative of One Belt, One Road, where uh, China's plan to actually link Asia to Europe, and uh, with this uh, opening of their uh, borders and uh, movement of goods, uh, supply and logistic change uh, will become a major uh, requirements uh, for companies. And uh, I, I believe in future, uh, these uh, graduates will be uh, much sought after. Uh, even during this MCO time, uh, supply and logistics still running full, full stream because uh, they, they are the backbone during this, this uh, hour of uh, crisis. Um, Mr. Go, maybe can you um, uh, let us know what is their career pathway, uh, I mean more into career pathway for the uh, business management Sorry. student? Can. Can. Uh, if we are an accounting graduate, so most likely when you graduate, you are going to work in an accounting department. Uh, if you are a finance graduate, most likely you are going to work in their finance department and marketing graduate marketing department. Uh, like I uh, presented just now in my slide, uh, business uh, management graduates, uh, they are a little bit special breed because uh, at the end of five years, we, are, we don't want you to become stagnant in your uh, specific department but we want you to move up as a manager in that organization. That means that at the end of that five years, we want to see you manage the company. That is our aim. Have you heard of this? Uh, uh, some company that have this, this uh, uh, they call it, uh, I'm not sure, man management trainees program, where they put you uh, three months in this uh, department, another three months in that department for the whole four years. So that you have an experience uh, for, of, of the whole company, how it is run. So I think that aim of the program also is, uh, is the same. Uh, they try to make their training staff uh, to become uh, well worth with the running of the company. Yes, Thank you, Mr. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mr. Ko. Um, Mr. Go, maybe uh, can you tell us that uh, Throughout this uh, degree program, um, there is more into uh, practical or theory kind of uh, subjects. Uh, balance. Uh, I would say uh, we have some uh, practical courses that involve uh, project, uh, that involve uh, laboratory, computer laboratory, 
But most of the courses, when you reach your, uh, your year three, especially final, final year, you'll be more uh, theoretical, theoretical in nature. But when I say theoretical, it doesn't mean that you learn from book. We also uh, prepare cases for students to work on those theory, uh, real life cases, so that students can get some uh, industry experience as well, okay, while doing their uh, assignments, in-class assignments. Um, the real life experience that they are having, like, you mean they have to go to the company or they have to, like, case study? Uh, some of our courses, we do invite uh, speakers to come, and some of these speakers, they have their specific, uh, I would say, assignment they can bring to the class. So that means that uh, our students are working on a real life case in this case. Like maybe company ABC has these uh, problems with their staff and, you are, and currently you are taking a human resource uh, classes. So that case can be brought into the class as an assignment. And how do you solve that assignment? Uh, you use the theories that you learn in class. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, Mr. Go. Yes, uh, can you explain a little bit more <clears throat> the importance of uh, <clears throat> this program? Because uh, it's MQA uh, certified, right? <clears throat> can you explain it a yeah. bit more? How important it is for, for the candidates uh, in terms of uh, when they go out later, when they have this uh, MQA sure. or, or this program? <clears throat> okay. uh, our bachelor degree and even our diploma in business management uh, basically, I think most of our business degree that like they offer for Faculty of Business, they are MQA certified. Uh, MQA is our Malaysia uh, government uh, agency. It's a Malaysia uh, qualifications uh, agency. That means that uh, they have a website actually for students to uh, check whether a uh, uh, course offered by certain universities is it recognized or not. Now, if our, uh, our degree, in, in this case, the business uh, management is fully recognized, that means accredited by MQA. Uh, that means one of the advantage is local students, I'm talking about local students, uh, both you're not local students, eh? right? Uh, you can get PT, PTN loan, okay? Uh, second advantage is uh, you can apply to public universities pursuing your higher degree, master's or PhD afterwards. If you completed a non-MQA, uh, uh, full of creations, that means you can't, you can't do that. Uh, third, you can work in our government agencies. And fourth, I believe, because uh, MQA, they have a program standard, and uh, when we are being certified, that means uh, we follow their standard. <clears throat> okay, thank uh, you. Yes, Tawai, you answer your question? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, hello, uh, I hope to add. Okay, my name is Dr. Cho. I'm the acting dean for Faculty of Business. Welcome, everyone. I, uh, I want to add in one point for our uniqueness of our program is that we have uh, recently revamped uh, our program uh, syllabus. Okay, in the sense that we incorporate uh, some data analytic classes into our computer applications uh, and IT application courses, both at the diploma as well as at the bachelor degree level. But the thing is that uh, we did not want to burden our BBM students because we know that not everyone will be interested uh, in the IT, uh, no, not IT related, I mean data analytic related uh, uh, industry as a profession, but we believe that it is important that even though you may not want to get involved in the industry as a profession when you graduate, but somehow one way or the other, we all need to be uh, equip ourselves with knowledge about uh, the importance or the impact of uh, big data around us, because um, you, you you know that you know we we are now going viral you know uh, for you know on the internet people are talking about security you know I mean cyber security and risk management you know and many many other things so so we have incorporated uh, this topic or this course into our both degree and diploma level where uh, the design, the designer of this program uh, is 
uh, work in collaboration with Mr. Go, you know, and uh, the team uh, from the uh, data and data scientist experts. That is uh, part of uh, our uh, Bajaya Corporation subsidiary. So I will say that this is uh, one of the advantages of you uh, joining our program. And then we are not only just um, telling our students what is big data, what is data analytics. We literally have computer lab that will be coaching you on how to analyze the data. Even I myself is very eager to learn because at my generations, I never have experience this kind of thing like what we are going through now. But uh, so Mr. Gong maybe can tell a bit more to you all because he has the first-hand uh, knowledge on, on this topic. Thank you, Mr. Gong, over to you. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, uh, Prof. Okay, just now I mentioned about resources. So uh, in a company, traditionally resources, they refer to uh, asset, that means uh, your car, uh, your buildings are uh, your machinery uh, and uh, also people uh, staff and also money okay but uh, with the advancements of uh, IT technology and especially with the advancement of uh, social uh, networking now uh, data uh, a lot of company now looking at data as one of their main resources so you have data so how are you going to use your data like except you have a car then you can uh, use it as a transport. Uh, you have people, then you can assign people uh, some work. Uh, you have uh, money, then you can invest on, uh, on your machineries. Okay? But how about data, this resource? So how are you going to use it? Okay? Now, uh, different companies, you can give them the similar data, but at the end, one company uh, will, succeed, will succeed, while the others uh, will fail. It's because of how they analyze the data. You have data, but if you don't know how to analyze it and use it, then the data is just a data. Huh? So in this course that uh, we recently developed and we are going to uh, have our first batch of students going through this course in the coming May semester, uh, is with an industry uh, expert company. Huh? They are in this field. So we are adopting some of their curriculums uh, into our uh, courses. So that means that while you are taking our course, you are also uh, learning what are the experts are using now in the real world. So this is one of our uh, uh, industrial linkage uh, with this company. And uh, this course uh, for degree uh, diploma is offered in year one. Okay. Uh, traditionally, uh, we have computing courses that Talk you about Excel, uh, Word, uh, PowerPoint, but I believe uh, these uh, applications, uh, e even if we, uh, if you didn't go through our former uh, former uh, trainings, you are able to use it because they are quite user friendly now. Uh, so we are ditching that and we're replacing it with data uh, analysis or data analytics uh, because we believe students must have this skill. Yes. Any other questions that you would like to ask me? Um, yeah, Mr. Go about the uh, data analytics, uh, that subject uh, that will be in our business sub, uh, degree, is it? That will incorporate in our business degree, right? Yes, yes. So uh, the subject they are going to learn, it is an optional or uh, uh, optional, right? It's a compulsory uh, subject. It's a core, year one core. Oh. Uh, in degree, it's called uh, uh, IT application. Okay. Oh, uh, I saw that IT application. Okay, so this is an uh compulsory subject for all the students. Okay, thank you. Would it be a uh, um difficult for them uh, because some of the students might uh not so uh well IT known in it. it. Yes. Uh, if, yes. If you are, if you are able to uh, use handphones, download apps, play games, uh. It shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, uh, what uh, I'll see uh, the challenging will be when we are doing the analysis part, where when we analyze certain things, uh, the mindset must be very logical. Uh, that means if you have a witness in, uh, in logic or in mathematics, 
uh, then you need to put more efforts uh, uh, in this course. But overall, it's an introduction course, so don't worry. Uh, it's not an advanced uh, data analytic course, uh, analytic course, it's an introduction only. Okay, okay. That means, uh, means students have no basic, they still can... Yes, yes. there's no uh, uh, prerequisite for it. Okay, it's okay. A year one. Year one course. So if students, they directly join in year two, they won't be able to learn this, right? Uh, it depends. Uh, if you don't be uh, given a credit transfer for this course, then you need to take. Uh, currently, are you in, uh, in any diploma courses? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm one of uh, uh, the counselor here. <laughs> Have you taken this IT uh, application course? Uh, no. <laughs> one, five, one, three. No, no, no. No, uh, then you are going to you are going to take. You are coming with the Jaya UC, right? Ah uh, yes, I am one of the staff here. Oh staff. Okay. Mm. So I'll pass back to Kawai. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi. Um Anyone has any questions, you can uh, use your microphone or else you can type on the chat box there so that Mr. Go can address your concern. You know, you can ask anything about the course, no worries. Okay, I would like okay. to add about your progressions, huh, students. Uh, so if you are, I believe most, most of you are just uh, completed your SPM and with your result. So now uh, you can progress to uh, foundations or diploma. Okay. So if you are progress through foundations, then you are going to uh, join uh, degree year one, year two, and year three. So if you are going through our diploma programs, uh, two years diploma, then uh, most likely you are going to be given some credit transfers. That means that those are uh, equivalent subjects from your diploma that are uh, being offered again in your degree. You don't need to uh, restudy, like I would say restudy. Uh, or meet the course again. So uh, most likely you are going to uh, join uh, year two and uh, year three of our degree if you are progress uh, from diploma. Mm, okay, uh, Mr. Go, Mr. Yeah. Go, um, I understand that we have a uh, uh, small classes, okay, uh, and I think that uh, very different from other universities. Can you share with us, um, you know, what what do you guys do, you know, in terms of uh, helping out the students since we have a, a very small class? What kind of um, teaching that that you you we you know we uh, give to these students? Oh, yeah. uh, advantage of uh, having a small class is the uh, lecturer are able to pay more attention to a student progress uh, throughout the the course. Okay, and uh, apart from that, uh, the assignments are designed for small class and big class are different. Uh, because uh, in big class, you have, let's say, big class, I'm talking about 40, 50 students. Uh, then you can you can have uh, a lot of groups. Okay? Small classes, then you have a one or two groups. So the assignment uh, is a little bit uh, different when a when, uh, le uh, lecturer like me uh, design the course. Okay? And uh, like I said earlier, uh, more attention to the students. Uh, we can uh, provide more one-to-one uh, -one or personalized uh, tutoring. Compared to mm, okay. Class. Mm, okay. 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 Um, is there any more questions from the floor? I think there's someone. I right yeah. There. Uh, there are someone uh leave down the message there. That uh what the student. Yeah. Aiza, the stu yeah. Uh, Aiza. Okay. Uh, Aiza. Uh, you have a diploma in accounting. Yeah. Is it from uh, Bajaya or, or from which uh, university or college? Uh, no, from UITM. UITM. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, uh, like I said earlier, uh, for uh, diploma students, uh, when they join our degree, uh, we are going to do uh, subject matching or course matching. So, uh, most likely, you have taken uh, IT courses, accounting courses, marketing courses, uh, fundamental management courses during your diploma time. So these courses are in our year one program as well. So most likely you, you will be given a credit transfer. That means you, need, you don't need to take 
so it depends uh, on, on the credit transfer. Uh, most likely, you are going to join a year two of our degree program. Uh, it still depends on your on the cost offering. Uh, that means that uh, we need to you need to send your cost factor to us so that we can do matching. Oh, so um, uh, the semester will be short, lah. Uh, typically, if students come from a foundation program, when they join our degree, they need to go to year one, year two, year three. Then the nine semesters. Uh, but you joining, mm -hmm. maybe join year two, year three, six semesters. So your course, degree course with Bajaya UC will be shorter compared to the norm. Uh, okay, okay, thank you, Sugo. <laughs> and you save a lot of money also. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Go, maybe can you share that um, the the fun in the class that uh, we are having, uh, like uh, because of the small classes we are having, right? So uh, the interaction between yes. the lecturer and the students, can you share yes. more on that? Uh, the interaction is small. Uh, so in a normal uh, two hours, two hour class. So for 50 students, uh, maybe you use up that two hours. Uh, but for 10 students, uh, maybe you use up one and a half hours to complete your lectures for that day. So you have half an hour left. Uh, so that's why I say in, in small classes, uh, lecturers have uh, different assignments in the sense that we can uh, give more tutorials, uh, we can have some fun activities, or sometimes uh, we can have games in the class as well. But all these are related to your course, of course. And uh, students, do you like to have your class cancel and go out for a trip? In, in <laughs> the day you see, uh, we do that a lot. Uh, but that trip is related to your course. After the trip, you need to write a re reflective report, that's all. Um, that is interesting, Mr. Go. Yes. Can you tell more like uh, the past uh, experience that you have? A example, let's say we have a, we have a course in uh, retail management. Okay. So in the class, of course, uh, we can talk about theoretical, you know, how, how that product has been arranged, uh, why that product is put on the top shelf and not on the lower shelf. And why the pricing is done like that? You know, that that can be that all that thing can happen in the class. But what happens if for one week, for that particular week, two hours, we take you to pavilion and visit a retail store, and you are you are going to face uh, the store manager, and the store manager is going to explain the operation of the store, and at the same time, uh, there will be a Q and A session. Wouldn't that you learn more compared if you just sitting in a class? Yeah, I agree with you, Mr. Go. <laughs> it will be interesting in the class. That's quite interesting. And uh, we can do it quite easily because some other university, they are in Kampong Kampong Ulu Ulu, you know, where they want to go to town, visit a store, also take about half an hour right. Uh, Bajaya University College is a city campus. We are right in the Golden Triangle. So if we want to visit all these uh, company, it's just a, 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 a stone throw away. Uh, take a ARP, take a MRP, then we can reach there already. It's easier for us to arrange that as well with company. Um, thanks, Mr. Go, for your explanation. So, um, so I'll, I'll leave my WhatsApp here. Then, so if you uh, want to privately chat with me, you can. So there is a six zero one two two five nine three four three four. Uh, you can uh, WhatsApp me anytime. Our uh, faculty of business lectures are very really friendly. Uh, some students even WhatsApp me during midnight, <laughs> and I reply okay. if I'm still awake. <laughs> <laughs> but we are small, uh, uh, but we are not lacking in uh, in uh, in uh, uh, this uh, supporting of students. Uh, where uh, students are uh, having any problems, uh, we we'll try to solve it uh, immediately. Okay, uh, not like uh, some some. If you have few hundred students, then they'll say, okay, you need to wait for five days uh, because our processing takes five days. Uh, for us, uh, 
we, we can bypass that because uh, we, we can attend to your uh, issues uh, immediately. And uh, one more thing is about when uh, we bring students uh, out or we bring industry uh, speakers to the class, uh, students should pay attention that actually that is not, uh, the, the attention is not only uh, embarking the knowledge, but also uh, doing some networking. Uh, like you're having this session with me now, okay? Uh, then uh, we, we are, you, you have my contact now. So actually we, we are networking. So uh, in future, uh, uh, hopefully this relationship uh, can, can be advantageous to you in a sense. Uh, Kawe, pass mm, Okay. Yep, uh, I think if there is no more question, let me just check one more time. Is there any question? Yep, I think there's no more question. Okay, so uh, participants, if you want to get in touch with us, you can always uh, contact Mr. Go. Okay, um, or if if you uh, have any more questions, okay, you can still stay for on this chat chat box. You can always ask us questions uh, regarding uh, your admission, scholarship, or even financial to help you. Okay, so uh, thank you, Mr. Go. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay, if you have, uh, you may log off now. No yeah, problem. Thank you. So okay. if you don't have anything, then you can, uh, we will, we'll, we'll, we'll call this uh, session up. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we're any session, thank yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abbas, uh, John, Lim, uh, okay, Hui, thank you. and uh, Natalie, Aiza. See you again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>